Welcome to this PS and 30 Photoshop tutorial where we're covering all the tools and features and all the everything in Photoshop in about 30 seconds or so. We always take a few minutes though. So. We're going down the list of tools here and we are up to the good old 3D Material Drop Tool. And now, I don't know how many of you even tried playing with the 3D features in Photoshop. They're fairly impressive. If you want to do hardcore 3D work, it's still probably not the application for you. But let's take a look at the 3D Material Drop Tool. And as a byproduct of this, we're going to double back and recheck out the 3D Material Eyedropper Tool. It's pretty much point and click, but you're going to see what I'm talking about in a second. Let's mess with the 3D Material Drop Tool. Now, I have this 3D figure that I've modeled and texturized and all that good stuff. This actually was done in another uh, Adobe app called Adobe fuse you should check it out so easy to model and create characters like this it's pretty cool let's select our 3d layer you can see photoshop brings up kind of the 3d overlay workspace in photoshop i could adjust this guy and tilt him and put him any which way but i want him to look kind of sort of like he's standing in the middle of this little alleyway i mean a lot of blending work would need to be done to make it look realistic anyway that's not the point if we open up this 3d layer you can see we have all these different textures um that comprise whatever piece of him um, we may click on. So let's just check out top. Now top is going to be his shirt and his vest. If I double click on that, you can see here it opens this up in a new Photoshop document. If we check it out, we can see there's his vest. These are the sleeves, the place for like elbow pads or something, the belt, things like that. I'm going to close this because we're not editing the textures. We're simply removing and replacing textures. We don't even need to select the texture here. Let's just say we want to make his shirt some kind of different texture. So let's grab the 3D Material Drop tool and we can choose any of these default textures. You can also load in additional materials. Adobe has some materials you can find online, but all the good materials, all the good stuff, of course, as you may well expect, you're gonna have to pay for. Let's go with the liquid gold here, or the metal gold. All we really have to do is move over maybe like his skin and dump that texture there and you can see his skin is now this yellow and if we render it out it's going to look much more sort of like real gold. Let's undo that, Let's grab the material drop tool again and go with one of these like fancy red whatever sparkly looking things and change the, his vest and shirt color. Maybe he's not the police, he's more like the disco police, right? So he's got kind of this crazy shiny sweater. Um, there's all kinds of really neat textures and things. The textures here, I mean, they're, I guess they're neat, but they're not necessarily what I would consider super, super useful. Um, but you can see it's pretty cool. You just click on whatever it is you want to replace, maybe the texture of his helmet. And we can go ahead, boom, and the helmet. Now it does change the goggles and everything as well. So that, you know, not quite what I would want. Let's try the boots and you can see, boom, now he's got his red boots. So the 3D material drop tool is super easy. Now I said we would double back and check out the uh, eyedropper tool, the 3D material eyedropper tool, this would be, let's say we want to sample the texture on his face, his skin texture, and now that we've loaded that as a selection, we can go to the 3D material drop tool and maybe add that skin texture to his entire shirt and vest. So you can see, let's get out of 3D mode real quick. You can see that his entire shirt and vest and everything, I mean, it looks pretty bad, but it has that skin texture on it. Let's just undo that. And we can even go ahead and do something like grab that eyedropper tool and select the texture of his shirt, right? Then go back to the 3D material drop tool and apply that to his skin. So we sort of have this bizarre looking leather, leather skinned fellow who's dressed up in this paramilitary gear. So the 3D material drop tool in Photoshop, you're gonna use it to apply as you would expect textured materials to 3D models um, that are imported or created here in Photoshop. So that's it. Get it, got it, good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.